hey everyone welcome to my channel this is actually my first video here so please forgive my english uh, today i'm going to show you how to boost your fps in game loop especially for call of duty mobile and this method works best for the high-end pcs only so if your graphics card is gtx 1080 or newer or your cpu has at least six cores and you have a six gigabytes of ram then you are good to go after these trips you won't get annoying fps drops when you get shot or when you zoom in snipe with the sniper in the battle royale or at least you'll have much less lag than before all right then. so before uh, we check the version of the game group uh, and i have to say this method only breaks if you have a 32 bit version of the game group the 32-bit version of uh, game loop is much better and optimized and runs smoother for most people so let's see which version you have right now for checking it you have to open a game loop here it would start with 4x32 bit perfect it would start with 5x64 bit and beta you should uh, delete it and install 32 bit version for downloading the game loop 32 bit game loop version you should go to the game loop website right game loop on the search bar go to the game loop website gameloop.com for downloading it uh, there is a two button here uh, this button downloads 64 bit game loop and this downloads 32 bit game loop download this and install it uh, because i had uh, game loop 32 bit i'm not going to download but you download and install it but before delete the whole file it's uh, 64 bit version then install new one after you download the downloaded your game loop 32 bit version go to the game loop settings of the game loop just copy paste my settings choose your own country here go to engine direct choose direct it is way better enable rendering optimization just tick this do not tick these these are useless put this on off memory 8 gigabytes processor like 4 if you have a better cpu put it on 8 uh, resolution your own monitors resolution screen dpi 160 and audio channel direct sound uh, in the model you can write anything you want it doesn't matter uh, in the game just copy paste my settings and save after that close your game loop and go to the windows settings right here graphic settings add these uh, four to your graphic graphics like put them on the high high performance and if you ask how do you find these four uh, press on click on add desktop app drive c program files ex game assistant app market it's here just add this and after that go to ui add these three and after you add they should came here and 
all of them make them high performance nvidia like binds nvidia put them all, all on the high performance this makes the game uses your gpu otherwise it doesn't use your gpu it's, it it will only use your cpu if you don't do this and you will get if you don't do this you will get like very less fps and fps drop after this after you put them on the high performance go to the your game folder new game folder check in tx game assistant go up market and uh, find the upmarket.exe Properties. Go to compatibility. compatibility. Change high DPI. Change high DPI settings. Tick this and put it on application. Then press click on OK and upload. Then go to the UI. Go to Android. Find this Android Emulator.exe property. Properties. 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 Compatibility. Compatibility. Change, DP, change IDPA settings and do this again. Put it on application. Do the same things on Android emulator EN and EX2. Things you need to change your systems page file. Uh, right click on windows logo go system and go advanced system settings uh, on the performance settings advanced and in the virtual memory change it to mine like initial size 4 gigabytes and for the maximum size 10 gigabytes and don't forget to click on set button then ok then apply ok again ok done then you should restart your system another thing is uh, disabling facebook card it's better disable the facebook card it makes your game glitchy and buggy so here we are going to delete the delete or disable the Facebook. First open the Call of Duty mobile. After it starts just press back, then press F9, then go to settings. Facebook and just force a stop and disable it so that's it and uh, one thing if you account if if your account is connected with Facebook just log in once to your game then disable your Facebook and at the end you should change your game settings like go audio and graphic section put a graphics card to a medium and go to frame rate to the ultra and turn off your realistic scope and explore sh see the shake off this goes off and down
take you to my Discord server. I'm building for a game group called Mobile Players. Come join. And you can ask your questions here and I'll answer you there. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe.